Thank, thank you. Thank you. That music does not fit me at all. <laughs> My God. I apologize. You expected somebody with abs when you hear that music and you've got this, this little Jew coming in front of you. <sighs> this is weird. <laughs> As I mentioned, I'm a, I don't think I even need to mention that I am a Jew. Uh, I feel like even the people over on the balcony are like, yeah, we could tell before you even walked in. <laughs> but isn't this how the Pope addresses people? <laughs> this is just so, or I feel like this could also be, like, this is... This is how I would address you if we were about to invade something. <laughs> now, guys, we're attacking Burbank tomorrow. <laughs> Had enough of their shit. Everyone on this side, you're gonna get, take the five, you're gonna take Magnolia, we're gonna <laughs> encircle them, and we're gonna take their street sweepers so we can clean up North Hollywood, for God's sakes. Unbelievable. Um, I, uh... You know, it never fucking fails. It never fails. This is the first time I've done a live show in a year. And inevitably, there's always a couple right in the front. And it, here's, here's my message to all the couples out there. Um, when, you're walking down the street, when you're walking down the street and, and you're holding your hands and, and you're in the throngs of your passion, pick up the pace. All right? I'm getting tired of walking behind these couples who are walking at the speed of love. <laughs> I am trying to outrun loneliness and death. Move it! I gotta say that the people who are on the balcony, you're freaking me the fuck out, right? Because it, it feels like a Roman Colosseum kind of thing. <laughs> I feel like one of you is like, no, kill him, lions. Put him in the lions. Put him in the lions. And I also have this paranoid fear that there's one person in this apartment complex who has to get up at five in the morning. And they're like, oh God. <laughs> uh, did I make it awkward now? Let's see, that's, that's what I do. I make it awkward. I'm a very awkward person. Uh, I, wish, I wish that I could take my awkwardness uh, like a superpower and put it on somebody else. Wouldn't that be great? That'd be amazing. That'd be good. Does that mean I have a minute? Oh, no, I'm recording. Oh, you're, oh, thank you. <laughs> Our interchange the entire night has been awkward, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, she graciously came up. She said, hi, thank you for coming. And she, you know, she tried to do like a dad or something. And I was like, no, no, don't touch. Like, no touch. <laughs> the virus, there's a virus. Don't touch. Ah, oh, God. And I, you know, curled in the fetal position. And... I, and <laughs> Awful, awful. Uh, speaking of how bad I am with women, I didn't lose my virginity. Uh, I didn't lose my virginity until I was 32 years old. Uh, that's a lot of fun to shout on Lancashire Boulevard. Uh, and, then, and this is true, by the way. This uh, this is not an act. This is because uh, I'll I'll say this and people will come up to me and they'll go, I I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I think you're still a virgin. <laughs> but it is true. I did lose it to a real life human female. <laughs> I'm sorry, these look like boobs. These look like boobs. And I mean that with love and respect. I do. But I've just been thinking it the whole time. That's a nipple on top of that boob. Isn't that great? Look at me. A, a BFA, college educated, and this is what I'm doing. This is how I'm spending my time and yours. Boobs, everybody! Very long. And so, uh, as somebody who didn't lose it until they were 32, by the way, when, when the government told me I had to maintain six feet of distance uh, uh, I was like, I can make that 12. I've been doing that for, I've been, I've been, <laughs> I've been training for this my entire life. But it's true, I lost it to someone who was, uh, was uh, I lost it, and then she, 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 she sends me a text, and she says, uh, you know, how, uh, you know, are you really a virgin? I said, yes. 
She says, how far have you gotten? And, and I responded, uh, this. <laughs> what we are doing right now, this is as far. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail about the act itself because this is polite company. Um, it's a great, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like to get too crass in front of invading armies here. Uh, but there was a mirror in my room, and at one point I looked over to see what I looked like, when, and, and uh, that was a mistake. Uh, I, I saw what appeared to be a hobbit having a seizure. It did not inspire confidence. It did not, did not. Uh, craziness. I'm still freaking out over not shaking hands with a lady. It's still here. Still freaking out. That's good. Okay, good. We covered the boobs thing. We covered my virginity. Um, not virginity. I've had sex once. I, you know, I, I know a thing or two. <laughs> I've been around the block exactly four times. Okay. Uh, probably too much information for you guys to know. Um, I, probably too much. This is, and and you know the other thing too. I can tell. I'm looking around. This is. This is a young, sexy crowd. I can, I can feel that. It's a young, sexy crowd, and you've, you've had so much more sex than I've had. Are you aware of that, like, on the graph of this, that you're way up here and I'm, I'm under the, it's just amazing. I, you know, I've read a lot about it, you know. It's good, good. I feel, and I also feel like I pissed off a couple as soon as I pointed them out, so I apologize, I didn't mean to piss you off. That said, the public display of affection, that's got to stop. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, so this is, um, this, I mean, this is nice. I like the time we have. I'm not running the light, am I? I can't tell. How am I doing? Am I doing all right? Five. I have five? Good to know. All right, thank you. Or you were grabbing a boob. One of the two. <laughs> One of the two. I am, uh, 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 people ask, oh, by the way, people ask, if I waited to have sex uh, for religious reasons, first of all, thanks for assuming it was a choice. <laughs> Second of all, uh, I, I, I did wait for religious reasons because there is no God. So that's good. We covered that. Is that too dark? Is that too dark for the, for the pandemic? All right, good to know. And I'm also... I'm, this, this keeps cutting in and out here, here and there, right? Doesn't it? Perfect. I'm, it's going to cut out right... Right when I say the important thing, like, don't, don't do the Pfizer. I'm kidding, kidding, kidding. Get vaccinated, everybody, get vaccinated. That's, get your vaccines, get it done. That's right, so that, that we can go back to uh, having everything open again, so we can go back to finding excuses not to be together. That's what we need to do. That's what really, we have to do. So I am, uh, I am also Jewish, uh, culturally, it means that even though I don't practice the religion of Judaism, I do have this face. <laughs> and I have a friend of mine who said, well, then you're not really Jewish, because Judaism is a religion and not a race, and if you don't practice the religion, you then ergo are not Jewish. Guys, my face doesn't look this way because I pray hard. I didn't choose this. I didn't swipe right to Judaism. You think I, who would do that? Judaism is many things. It's a religion, it's a race, it is a mental condition. I have been diagnosed with Judaism. And we don't get a vaccine for this shit. <laughs> oh man, oh man, so. I shouldn't say, oh man, it's, I'm sorry, it's 2021. The gender politics, I thought, oh, person, there we go. There we go, good. And no, nor do I mean when I say that that I am in any way denigrating the gender politics. I think it's a good thing. I like that, I like that. I feel like there's, there's a lot of inclusivity. I feel like we're, we're much more open-minded now than we were before in, well, half of us, uh, or, you know, most of the country, half of them. 51.2% of the country is more open-minded. Um, and I don't know what's going on in the other half, but it's, uh, I avoid that. I'll hide behind the boob when they come. Uh, maybe that, oh, this, that could double as a meeting, like this, you know, we, we could fortify, we could, we could fortify. I can't actually fight, by the way. And I appreciate, this is another important thing I want to, I appreciate that you're all listening to me right now, because I don't like the sound of my own voice. It is male, 
but it is not masculine. I don't have the kind of voice that can say, they will take our land, but they will never take our freedom. I have the voice that says, they're taking the land. <laughs> and I triple check the freedom as well. They're taking it all. They're taking it all. I, uh, oh man. Should I, should I end with a confession? I think I should end with a confession. Should we go, oh, like I feel like I can trust you, you can trust me. I'm not gonna, like I'm not gonna steal your girl. That's not gonna happen. That is not gonna happen. But if it did, what a fucking story. The Jew, he, really? The Hobbit? Um, <laughs> I, uh, uh, I'm bisexual, um, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Maybe. He's not my type. Uh, don't take it personally. I just sense we would both be fighting to be who's on top, and I've got to be on top. Uh, uh, I went there. I went, didn't think I was going to go there, but I went there. I, and it's, it's been hard because I, I, like I'm more attracted to women than I am to men, but I'm afraid that that's going to be appealing to neither sex. I don't know. Like, it's a, I, I'm afraid I'm not going to be masculine enough for a woman, but but not feminine enough. I, I don't know. I'm very it, I'm very confused by this. I don't know. And I, I uh, 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 it, still it's awkward talking about it because when I was you know when I was growing up, one minute, two minutes, two minutes. Okay. Good. Two minutes. We have two guys. Two minutes. Two minutes before we invade Burbank. Uh, I, because uh, uh, I grew up, I grew, you know, like my people were supportive, but the kind of thing, they, the kind of things they said were, well, there's no such thing as bisexual. If you're bisexual, that just means that you're gay, but you're in denial. And I'm thinking, if I wanted to be in denial about being gay, wouldn't it be easier to just say I was straight? <laughs> oh no, 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 Dad! I, I only suck dick on Fridays. just seems, you know, that seems weird to me. But that would be a thing. I don't know. But, you know, different, pe the different people have sexualities that are different. There's the Kinsey scale. I guess I'm a two and a half or a three. I don't know. Maybe X, Y, whatever I am. Um, the funny thing is, is that I can, you know, think about this uh, ad nauseum. I'm still not fucking anybody. Um, I had yeah, I've been with a woman, haven't been with a guy. Here's my other fear. Here's my other fear. Pay attention, couple. Here's my other fear. <laughs> what if I try it with a guy and I don't like it? And the only thing more embarrassing than coming out of the closet is realizing there never was a closet. <laughs> They're not coming from me, are they? <laughs> I'm paranoid. All right. I want, I always, I always, Feel like I want to. I want to close with a positive message. I want to. I want to be inspiring to you. Um, uh, I know I don't look it, but um, can you tell I have not been around people in a year based on the hair and how I'm dressed? Just this is this is new. Um, the reason why it took me so long to even have sex in the first place was fear. And I heard this quote that said, "Don't go through life trying to avoid getting your heart broken." because it will break from loneliness anyway. So I encourage any of you, if there's someone that you really want to ask out, if there's someone that you're in love with, ask them out tonight. Do it right after this show. <laughs> Get laid tonight. Because if you do, it will be because of a quote from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. You guys have been terrific. Thank you very much. My name is Bill Joshua Snyder. Thank you.